Everyone, it is I, Steve Buscemi, welcoming you to this comedy show. Please laugh. Peaking at nine years old is a pretty weird feeling. Um, basically, it just means you did a comedy act when you were in fourth grade. Everyone laughed and praised you for it. And then you developed schizophrenia at age 15. So I was in a residential program for my mental illnesses, which they thought at the time was OCD, which, I don't know. But there was this kid who was really opening up to me, and I was... I had, much like Robert Frost, there were two roads I could go down. And I chose Nice using your ninth grade <laughs> English reading. And boy, did it make all the difference. Um, he was opening up how he couldn't hug his mom since he was eight years old. He couldn't graduate high school. He was way far behind all his peers. He had to quit his favorite only sport that he could play. And I was not picking up on the vibes, apparently. And I went, oh, don't worry. Haven't you heard the news? OCD doesn't stand for obsessive compulsive disorder. It stands for odd creature deficiency, which means the answers are lying inside of the Phantom Menace. So why don't we just watch that tonight with the Dr. Mintz is ordering you and you'll be cured in no time with a dose of Jar Jar Binks. Um, and then he went, Mitz, you know, I was trying to be open, like have an honest dialogue with you and you're just making Jar Jar Binks jokes and I really don't appreciate it. And I go, yeah, yeah, that's fair. I just really Jar Jar thinks that was a good joke. He didn't talk to me for the rest of the time and to be honest, that was fair. The Phantom Menace is a good movie. That's an unpopular opinion, but it's such a good movie. And I'm very wary about saying anything negative about the child actor who played child Anakin because he was bullied so hard that he quit acting in his teens. And when I looked him up, uh, he actually is diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia, which is what I'm diagnosed with. And I just feel like there's a brotherhood there that I can't can't like stomp on his territory because like i struggle daily with the symptoms of schizophrenia one of the main ones being hallucinations now i had a hallucination that was around with me since i was 15 till 18 which i am now and i used to be very scared of this hallucination um but when i tell you about him you're not gonna see why and that is the best part he wore a white suit and a fedora. Now, I don't know if you've ever met anyone in a fedora. Praise God if you have not. But they are the least threatening people around. Like, oh, what are you going to do? Peg women to fuck you on the internet? Like, come on. But I was terrified of this man killing me. And it's just like, looking back, it's just, it's so embarrassing that I wasted three years of my life being scared of a man, an imaginary man, in a fedora. Like, he couldn't even get women in the imaginary realm to fuck him. Like, that's the level only a person who wears a fedora can get on. And if you do wear a fedora and you're watching this, honestly, I don't, I mean everything. I mean everything I've said. Think about your fashion choices. But in all seriousness, um... Having hallucinations sucks, but I learned how to reframe my mind. So basically, hallucinations are just things that I can use to bounce off my stand-up comedy ideas off of. Um, so like they're like, hey, Mitzi, I'm part of the CIA and I'm going to kill you. And I'm like, cool. You want to hear this joke where I, can, I change my name to Witsy and I'm just incredibly witty? And they're like, shit, she figured it out. I always do. Who hears a disappointment to their father? Yay! Yep. I have an immigrant father. Um, and the biggest F you that he has ever done to me. Well, I shouldn't say that. There's a lot more, but I'm not going to mention them. Um, the one I feel comfortable sharing is right after he found out I was conceived. The next day, he booked a vasectomy. 
I didn't even have to come out of the womb for this man to be disappointed in me. Holy shit. And then just to leave you with a little forethought or afterthought or something to just chew on, digest like a cow 17 times. I don't know how many fucking stomachs they have. I should know. I am one. Ha <laughs> ha. That joke. Um, I've never understood the phrase enough to piss off the Pope because like all you have to do is be transgender. Yep. Ending it on a joke about the Catholic Church. Real classy.